There's essentially a 30% tax to be in that um, uh, app store. Epic alleged that it that Apple was a monopoly and it was abusing its power through charging us a 30% fee. The real important outcome in this case is that Apple has to open up its app store to other forms of payment and to other forms of consumer contact. So this cuts both ways. On one hand, it's great for competition. It means that you'll be able to pay for apps with other mechanisms that perhaps you prefer. But it also means that the store is likely to become less secure and to have more spam. Yeah, and, and the privacy and security issues are going to be big because all of a sudden, you know, these app developers will be able to touch you. They'll be able to communicate with you directly. And that is going to lead to other problems. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. I think on balance, it's a win for Apple. Uh, they dodge the biggest uh, uh, threat to them, right? Which is a which is a sort of requirement that they would have to open their ecosystem altogether. I think that business model survives. Um, the court uh, the court concludes that there are some good business reasons for it in the privacy and security space uh, that Apple can kind of guarantee or, or help provide security um, uh, with its walled garden business model. Uh, so this was an opportunity, I think, to take down those walled gardens. The court rejected that uh, approach, but I don't think it's gonna be the last effort to do that.